We made it to Pittsburgh. We're here. We did it. A little more traffic-y than it was in Louisville, but not too bad. All right, what are we doing first? We are about to do, forgive me for my horrible name pronunciation, the Duquesne, is how I would say it. Incline, right here behind us. Maybe you see it coming down. It was coming down. Just That's not doing nothing. Um, yeah, it's just a little incline rail car thing. You should have a pretty view of the city at the top. I'll be honest, I did one of these in Colorado and I did not care for it. We'll see how this one is. This one, I don't think is as tall. No, or as steep. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll find out how tall and how steep it is on the ride and report back after. I'm going to be right behind the camera tomorrow night, seeing Taylor. Yep, there's the stadium right back there. All right. Let's incline it up. The Duquesne Incline is a funicular located in the south side neighborhood of Pittsburgh. It was first opened in 1877 to carry cargo up and down Mount Washington. It later started carrying passengers who were tired of walking up the incredibly steep footpaths to the top of the bluff. In 1962, the incline was shut down. It needed a lot of repairs, but didn't have enough patrons to fund the refurbishment. Local residents launched a fundraiser to help restore it to its glory, and in 1963, the Duquesne Incline reopened as a non-profit tourist attraction. Since then, an observation platform has been built at the top, and a small museum was later installed at the top platform to showcase its history. Cars carry their passengers up the mountain at a 30 degree grade as it rises 400 feet above the city of Pittsburgh, giving a one-of-a-kind view. It costs $2.75 for a one-way ticket, or $5 for a round trip. It's important to know that the Duquesne Incline doesn't accept credit or debit cards for its fare, so make sure to bring your cash and you must have the exact fare as change is not available. the incline which we both thoroughly enjoyed it wasn't terrifying in, in any way we knew it was old and sketchy but it was really old and really sketchy we made it so yeah. you know that's that's good it was an experience i think you should do it while you're here it was only five dollars to go up the road uh, but now we have driven across one of the mini bridges and we are now in point state park which kind of gives you another cool view of the city and the tons of bridges and the stadium. And this would be a really good place to come if you don't have Taylor Swift tickets. You could still hear everything perfectly. Of course, if you're watching this, this the Taylor happened, Swift concert so. is very But for any concert, you know? Yeah. For any concert. It'd be a good place to come and listen. It's already starting to get into the evening time and a lot of the places that we had thought about doing tonight are already starting to close down or are going to be closing soon. So I think the plan from here is just to head on up to my sister's house. It's about 40 minutes north of Pittsburgh. And then tomorrow our main goal is the Taylor Swift concert. But I think we're planning to come back into the city fairly early in the day. Um, so if we do anything cool. You know, maybe we'll film it. We will be in our concert outfits, so I will be very sparkly. So if you see me in a very sparkly outfit, it's, it's tomorrow. Uh, really quick fact thing that I thought was kind of interesting. So when we were at the Point Park, that's where all three rivers in Pittsburgh come together. The Allegheny, the Monongahela, and the Ohio River. And in our last video, when we left you guys, we were just leaving Louisville after doing the Riverwalk, which was the Ohio River. 
So we went from one part of the Ohio River to the other part of the Ohio River. I just kind of found that out randomly and thought that was kind of neat, so I wanted to add that on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So we're going to make the drive in Pittsburgh rush hour traffic up north, check in with the family for the night, and next time you see us, we'll be in our sparkly, bedazzly outfits. Well, as you can see, we are no longer in Pittsburgh. So, as we mentioned in the video, we were going up to Pittsburgh specifically to go to a Taylor Swift concert. So, we went to the concert the second day we were in Pittsburgh, and we planned to potentially film something when we were out before the concert, um, but we got there at like 2 in the afternoon for 7 p.m. concert because we were worried about all the traffic and people and everything and then it was it was crazy Taylor Swift pandemonium so we just found a table at a restaurant and sat there for about three and a half hours before we walked over to the stadium um, so we didn't really do anything to film that was exciting and then Taylor was playing again the next night so we did not really feel like attempting to drive into downtown Pittsburgh or attempt to find parking or pay for parking for that matter um, because it was crazy like after 12 you, you don't want to be down there anymore um, so sorry for the short video the concert was amazing though yeah it was incredible if someone could Venmo me another three four grand so I could sit like front row um, at a future concert that would be that would be ideal yeah, we sat very far away, almost as far back as one possibly could sit, but I, you could hear everything great. You know, obviously that'd be TV on, or a big screen on stage, so you could watch that, but yeah. Yeah, we didn't have three or four grand, so I think we were like maybe three rows from the very last row. Yeah, but... literally all the way up. <laughs> we could really feel the stadium shaking. Yeah, that was something. I know they're designed to move, but holy cow, did it shake. Um, so obviously we cannot play Taylor Swift's music because of copyright, but Candace got some really good videos, so we're going to insert them right here. That is exactly what Taylor Swift sounds like. If you thought she sounded differently, that's your fault. Uh, I think we had also mentioned in a previous video that we were gonna head to the beach this summer with my family. Um, so we ended up going to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. We had planned to film a bunch of stuff. We even brought the kayaks down to go kayaking in the sound, which is not in the ocean on the other side. Um, and we kind of decided once we got down there that maybe we wanted a true vacation and didn't cram it full of fun stuff to film for you guys. So we just took a legitimate vacation and did nothing for a week. We literally just swam in the pool, walked to the beach a few times. Read, read a lot of books. Read on the deck. Ate some good food, had some good family time. We hope you all enjoyed seeing some of our trip to Pittsburgh, and we'll, we'll see, see y'all somewhere. somewhere. Good day. What is this called? Point Park? Point State Park. As you can see, we are no longer in Pittsburgh. Oh, is that all you said? That's all I said. Oh. Yep. Thanks for watching Riley Roams. Please subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our travels. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave us a comment below about your favorite part of this video.